Tammy and I are continuing our adventures here in Warrensburg at Gunzel and Bowser Children's Bookstore with owner Woods Prail. Woods, thank you so much for hosting us here. How are you? I'm doing great. This is such an amazing place. And first of all, I want to hear the story behind the name. Gunzel and Bowser is named after a book that my father wrote in the 1960s, late 1970s. Um, and the book never was published. And it's about a small boy that kind of gets lost in the snow and luckily depends upon his dog, who saves the day. It's a lovely, lovely little book. But as I said, it never got published. And it's always been in the back of my mind. And I grew up with an artist. And so that has also been heavily influential on this yeah. choice of venue. Yeah, I love that. And I love the personal connection and being able to kind of do this for your dad in, in some sort of way. So, okay, something I really love about this place is this is not your typical bookstore. You're not gonna find a lot of books in here that you may find on like Amazon, Walmart, or your typical place you may go and buy books for the kids. So tell people why that is and tell more about your story. This bookstore is kind of focused on folks who like to browse. Those folks, if you were looking for a very specific book, you're already kind of mentally trained to go to Amazons, go to the Walmarts. You kind of go over there and already know exactly what you have in mind. If you're not quite sure if you have a destination in mind, and when I say the destination, I'm talking about a book kind of destination. Yeah. That trip is the biggest part of it. And the fact that they are looking for something that they're not even quite sure what they want, that's a big part of this. And I mean, if you look around this place, everything is about the experience, less than about the book itself. And folks have found some amazing titles, titles that they have not seen since they were young. I've had the number of grandparents that have walked in here. It's like, I haven't seen this since I was a child. I can't believe you carry this. I can't believe anybody carries this. <laughs> and it's like, and I have the full spectrum from books that were just written last week, all the way to books that were written, you know, to a century ago. Yeah, but you also cover such a wide variety of topics. So touch on maybe a few um, out there, maybe different kind of topics that uh, kids will find here in your store. Anything that involves sort of a child experience, the dreams of a child, art, uh, music, uh, love, uh, uh, parental trauma from, I mean, even the parental loss. I have titles in relation to that. I've had folks that have come in here specifically looking for things along those same lines. I have folks that have kind of stumbled into certain titles. They just didn't even realize that it would meant something to them. They're halfway through the book. Um, I have a uh, one that's right behind you that's over uh, a child with a speech impediment. And when she was reading it, she's just like, I need to have this book. This fits my profession so well. I have a lot of folks who work with children that'll come in here and will ask me and I will put and send them in the right direction and they would just have this moment of like, this is this is exactly what I was looking for. But most of the time it's things that they don't realize they're looking yeah. for. Yeah. You mentioned that this is an experience and I'd love to hear a little bit more because you actually let children be children here, right? <laughs> yes, I mean, within an extent, I'm not going to have a kid that's going to come and like, I'm just going to set fire to that. Right. But there's nothing breakable in here. There's nothing that I'm really that worried about. If a book gets knocked down, it's a book. I mean, the few things that are even semi-fragile are in the case right there, the music boxes, the flip books, that, I mean, even those aren't destroyable. But I had a kid that dragged around my stuffed tiger, I mean, for the entire time, just kept dragging around, and parents, like, are losing their minds. Like, no, it's not that big of a deal. As long as he's like, well, can I take this home? No, that's no. the one thing you can't. <laughs> yeah. But fine. it's not that big of a deal. I don't really sweat it. I want you to have a moment here. I want you to spend your time here. I don't want you to dive in. If, if you really are looking for one particular thing, you're already done. You've already purchased it sure. on your phone. Own. That experience is already gone. And I mean, growing up, going to small, going to uh, bookstores, going to children's bookstores with my daughters was so important to me, spending an enormous amount of time there. Sometimes purchasing things, sometimes not. Yeah. I want you to kind of have that moment of literacy. I want you to sit at the end of the bed with your kid from when they are born all the way to you know middle school. And we skew from uh, for K all the way through about seventh grade, because once you go beyond seventh grade, then the audience becomes a little bit too fickle, and yeah. I'm, I'm just not gonna touch that one right now. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like you're really fostering the love of literature, too, because everything's so visually appealing, the, you know, allowing kids just to be comfortable here so that they attribute, you know, be, having fun with yeah. literature, but also, you know, special needs, such as, like, ADHD. I mean, you even speak to that. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I had a parent that came in was specifically looking for, I've got a son who has ADHD, I'm looking for something in particular, and I was able to say, okay, these are two or three titles, and these are the reasons why. I have a literacy background. I've been a high school teacher for the last 24 years. Um, I know exactly what comes from that history of not having those opportunities, not having that moment of the relationship with the parent and the book and the child and making sure that's all part of one unit. Woods, if people want more information about your bookstore, how can they get that? Um, I am on Facebook, Gunslin Bowser uh, Children's Books. Um, I'm also on Instagram. Um, and. Uh, there's yes, the visit visitwarrensburg.com. <laughs> See, I knew I'd forget yes, that. Thank absolutely. you, visitwarrensburg.com. Yes. I knew I'd forget that. Woods, thank you so much for having us. This has been a real treat. Yeah, thanks thank for being so, so welcoming. I appreciate it to no end.